in the Afghan qualifiers and Nervi Cameroon scored twice in the second half to beat Burundi three goals to nil in Garoua yesterday to qualify for next year's Afghan finals overcoming their plucky opponents as Andre Onana marked his return to the team with a series of key saves. Uh, Cameroon had needed to win the game to ensure a place in the finals. Uh, victory saw them finish top of the three-team Group C and also ensure that Namibia would qualify with them while Burundi missed out. Uh, Brentford striker Brandon Bermo took advantage of a defensive sleep to score one minute into the second half before defender Christopher Wo swept on the ball from close range for the second goal in the 59th. Uh, Clarence uh, came off the back of a defender to allow captain Vincent Abubakar to score the third goal deep in stoppage time. Uh, Burundi had needed only a draw, and despite their lowly ranking of 98 places behind for the second rank uh, in Domitable Lions, they came out more positive. Uh, and Onana had to make several key stops to deny both Bonfis Caleb Benyem Mimana and Saidi Intibazozika uh, to ensure that Burundi didn't get on the score sheet. Onana uh, was making his return to the side after a fallout with coach Rigobert Song during the World Cup in Qatar last year, which resulted in him being kicked out of their camp. The Manchester United uh, goalkeeper showed his worth as Cameroon won for the first time since their one nil victory over Brazil in Qatar in their last group game in December. Uh, now with Group C settled, it means that we now know all the 24 teams that will be at next year's AFCON finals in Ivory Coast uh, that will be running from the 13th of January to the 11th of February. All right, that's about all that we can take uh, on uh, today's edition of the show. Um, uh, there's more, uh, but I mean, we don't just have time uh, to bring all of that to you. Of course, uh, Simona Halep uh, is in the news today. She's been banned for four years uh, from tennis because of doping. She says she's going to be contesting that uh, to ensure that she's allowed to get on the WTA tour again at the start of next season. Uh, while, of course, uh, Vladimir Putin, who has been in the news, uh, he's met with French President uh, the stories with North Korea, that's all politics. Uh, but it plays into sports also because uh, France, according to the President Emmanuel Macron, already said that no Russian flag will be raised at the Olympics that goes down in Paris next season. And Vladimir Putin says that statements like that break the Olympic accord. Unfortunately, we can't go into all of that uh, anymore on today's edition of the show. Join us again next time when we are back again for another bumper edition of the show. Uh, that will be tomorrow, Thursday, from 6 p.m., uh, 5 p.m., I beg your pardon, uh, to 6 p.m., uh, right here on Plus TV Africa. I believe it with highlights uh, from the Spain game. Italy were also in action against Ukraine. Um, uh, interesting games that had a lot of goals in them uh, over the course of the last 24 hours. Join us again next time. Uh, you can, of course, watch uh, this edition of the show, a rerun, and previous editions when you log on and subscribe to our YouTube channels at Plus TV Africa and at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Also, uh, follow up on all the biggest breaking news as they happen when you follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa. And of course, watch us live and on the go via web and mobile on Limex.tv and on Glow TV apps from anywhere around the world. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name, of course, remains Wally Agbede. Wishing you a fantastic evening.